know, at the start of the pandemic, when frankly, we didn't know what was going to happen. What we saw is, is, is a lot of our clients, especially the local businesses, they were, they were hurting, right? They were, a lot of them were restaurants that, you know, they were going to have to close their doors or, or dramatically slash the revenue to say, just take out. So what we did, and it's funny because I don't know that many of them have realized this, is we just stopped billing them for services. We didn't say, we're doing this for you. We didn't say like, you know, we feel bad for you. We just, we kept doing the work, but we just didn't bill for it. You know, we had been fortunate, you know, in, in having built our business during the chamber, we had, thankfully, I'm grateful, we had a little safety net. We had clients that were still gonna be okay. So we could afford to do that. And that to me felt like the right thing to do because I believe that always comes back to you. The other thing that happened, which, you know, has turned out to be a silver lining, if you will, is we started a business called Stream Ally. And what Stream Ally does is online streaming events. It started off primarily for the LGBTQ community. And what we were doing is literally all of these artists, actors, you know, theaters who could no longer produce things. We basically started delivering their content, you know, and helping them still earn revenue. You know, and we've gone to work with charities locally like the Gay Men's Chorus of South Florida, South Florida Pride Wind Ensemble, the Pride Center, um, St. Mark's Episcopal Church. Actually, we've done a number of schools. And what we really were able to do is because we built this platform for streaming, we essentially gave it away. Over the past year, um, Duray and Company has partnered with um, other nonprofits in the community. We've worked with Eating South Florida, Boys and Girls Clubs, um, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, you name it, um, Dre is probably involved in on some sort of committee that we're not even sure about. Um, she also connected some of our clients. Um, we work with a vodka client and they were making hand sanitizers. Um, they ended up partnering with the Boys and Girls Club and um, donated hand sanitizers to the clubs. Um, just like making connections is, is what Dre does best and um, it's just our team's job to fill that. So we've always, it's, it's always been a cornerstone of, of me, of my heart and my soul to be involved in many, many nonprofits and organizations that give back. And whether they're a, a client, a pro bono client, sometimes it's a low bono client, I call it, uh, you know, whatever that may be, that really is part of who makes me who I am. And I'm incredibly fortunate that I have other people alongside with me that feel the same way in terms of giving back and being a part of the community. We work hard very hard all day long and then I think just being able to go home and realizing that you know we did make an impact um, we changed people's lives I mean getting you know food in people's hands um, boys and girls club being able to get them back into the clubs um, you know figuring out their virtual strategies during the pandemic um, you know just getting out the, the right messaging and I, and I think just you know that warm and fuzzy feeling at the end of the day after a really hard day um, you know pushing out information all day long and just knowing that it was good for something for one i'm a credit card processing provider um, so the way that we get that we get paid when our clients process um, is we automatically bill them at the beginning of the month from the last month so when march came and april came and the businesses were closed um, obviously, there were no restaurants open, there were a lot of businesses that were not open, so there were a lot of businesses that were not able to commit to the fees from the month prior. Um, when this happens in my industry, you shut down an account immediately, um, and then you have to go through a process to reopen it. Because we were going through a pandemic, we made a company decision to um, put them in a payment plan for the, for, the months that, for the month prior that they could not afford to pay instead of closing the merchant account because we know that we're going to be reopening soon and we were trying to help on the recovery after we were closed. Um, the number two thing that we did is um, we are the preferred vendor for the uh, Catholic churches here in South Florida. We came up with a uh, application for the churches that allowed people to donate by text um, and that made a huge difference. Um, in the community because like I said this was something that they didn't have prior to COVID 